very much. You're here in person this time. I'm here in person this I time. Really That's like wonderful. It. I will say, though, I was very jealous of your trip that you were taking all the pictures. I loved That was like my favorite Zoom. Yeah. Like that board that you showed us, all the pictures. It was so cool. It was fun. I like to travel. I like to get out in the world when I can when I'm not in production. You do like to travel. Yeah. I was going to wait later in the interview, but I heard that you did even more traveling after oh, you man. wrapped the last production. You yeah, go everywhere. I did. I went everywhere. God, where did I start? I went to uh, Portland to go surprise my sister for her birthday. Oh, in Oregon. That's beautiful. Then I flew to uh, Indianapolis to go wave the green flag, the Indy 500. Oh, I've done, I've done Indy 500. That's fun. It's fun. It's yeah. One of my buddies, yeah. uh, Connor Daly, is a racing driver. And he was like, oh, do you wow. want to come out? I'm like, yeah, cool, great. I'm not working. So yeah. let's do it. God, I was everywhere. I was at Fort Bragg doing some, some work with uh, oh, Special cool. Forces teams there. I went to Switzerland to go visit a friend. Went to Vancouver to visit another friend. I took two weeks in my camper uh, wow. around on the national parks and like, Yosemite and, and Utah. Are and you always by yourself? Like, do you ever get no. lost? There's a few U-turns. There's always a couple <laughs> U-turns that happen okay. within a trip yeah. or whatnot, but yeah. I like to wander. I just like yeah. to wander around, and sometimes I'm with friends, and sometimes I'm by myself, but if I'm just kind of seeing something new, yeah. if I'm seeing something new, then I think, you know, that's the way to go. I mean, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Where are you there? That is in Switzerland. That I love is, Switzerland. Yeah, so that's uh, the real Matterhorn. I mean, I, of course, growing up in Orange County, California, yes. at Disneyland, you, do the you ride. have... Yes. Yeah, you have the Matterhorn, and there's yeah. the fake one. That's the real one. That's so, so cool. Yeah. I feel like you need a traveling show called This Is Me. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. It's just like the, that. Playoff, the playoff maybe, of This Is maybe, Us. Maybe. I'm just saying, you love traveling, and people don't generally get to go see all that kind of stuff, and it's awesome. I think, if anything, hopefully me being out in the world inspires somebody else to say, oh, I want to go there. I want to do this. I want to yeah. you know, spend time with my family. I want to spend some time with myself, just kind of get out in the world and see it. It's so good. It's so good for you. You're like a walking therapy session. It's great. <laughs> um, and congrats. I want to say on your, your star on the Walk Thank of you. Fame. That's yeah. really huge. Huge. Yeah, it's... Uh, was it's, that a huge thing for you, like, that you dreamed of since you were a kid? I mean, I think when I was younger, I would think about it. And, yeah. you know, you think about, hey, I want to win an Academy Award. And then you get older, and you're like, no, 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 it's fine. Let me just work. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me, like, do yeah. some good work with some people. Yeah. Um, and then I realized, you know, 26 years had gone by in career. And I was like, oh, yeah. wow, I've been here for a while. And they uh, presented me with the star. And, so cool. you know, it's just, it's there. It's That's there so now. With all the other names. So you walk over there, so and you're like, names. oh, my gosh, you're in great company. Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of great people that have them, and again, I just I hope it inspires the next generation of like young artists and kids and all that to like go yeah. out and do what they want to do. Absolutely, we're lucky. I I just said that the other day on the, the couch with somebody. I was like, uh -huh. we're so lucky. They were like saying, oh, you get to do what you love. I was like, I know, we're so blessed. There's so many people that love to do what we do. Yeah, and we're like the few that actually got to. It's it's amazing. Yeah. But yeah. but um, so you you started um by acting and running tech for your high school production. I started in high school like singing yeah. and stuff like that. Was that fun to do the tech it was, stuff? It was a blast. I mean, I, I think it was a good learning lesson to you know not just be on stage and in front of people, but yeah. it was like, hey, how does the entirety of production happen? Yeah. So I mean, when I was a kid, I had a truck in high school, and so my high school drama teacher, Mariana Herida, she would be like, hey, you're in charge of going to Hollywood to pick, because I grew up in Orange County. Oh, and you're, you're the guy with the truck. I'm the guy with the truck. So I'd go pick up the lights, yeah. pick up sets, pick up lumber, pick up all this stuff, and That's cool. build sets, and hang lights, and sew costumes, and I kind of continued that through college, too. So I think that's amazing, because you're well-rounded, and also yeah. I think that sometimes people don't respect everybody's job on set, because you don't know what it's like, and it might seem easy to you. I think that that's really well-rounded of you, because you're on set, and you know yeah. that kind of what everyone's doing and you've been in there a little bit. I think you that's important. But at the same time, it's like, why, like, we should all just respect each other's jobs to begin with. <laughs> totally, but it's a different thing. It's like, have you ever gone out to dinner with somebody that's never waited tables? Absolutely. Yeah, and you're like, oh, Yeah, okay. and they're not looking the waiter in the eye like, oh, yeah, I'll take this, whatever. And, yeah. and they like, just stop, look them in the eyes, say yes. please and thank you. Yeah. And there's other tables. It's not just you that yeah. came in to eat tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so fun to do that because um, I was a waitress. So was I. <laughs> yeah, I waited and tables it's like, too. Yeah. I feel like every like actor or musician is waiting yeah. at tables. You have to. You <laughs> have to have had because yeah. it's a nighttime job, so you got daytime exactly. to do your stuff. And you can change your hours. Change your hours. Yes. Yeah, you're always like swapping exactly. shifts and whatnot. You get it. I totally get it. Um, but wait, I, I also heard that you're learning Japanese. So one, like, why? Like, that's so. It's such a random thing to um, to want to learn. I, I kind of needed to do something different with my brain. Because, yeah. like, you know, you settle into what we do. And, like, great. I learn my lines. I show up. I moat. I'm an actor. I'm yeah. pointing the camera wherever. Great. I'm directing. Yeah. I'm putting projects together, working with writers. Great. I'm producing. I needed to do something else with my head. 
just to keep active, to keep learning, to kind of keep growing. Breaks and I was up like, monotony it does, well. it absolutely yeah. does. But then this is, you know, a few years ago, I haven't been up to date on it as much, but mm. like I started learning uh, Russian, Spanish, and Japanese at the same time. What? Realized it was too ambitious with my work schedule on This Is Us. Yeah. So I just backed off on Japanese. And now I haven't been to class like with my teacher in a while, but like it's, it's floating around in there somewhere. Yeah. That's why I love my, my kids. It's so, I went to a school where there, you could learn Spanish. That was it. That was yeah, your option, yeah. basically. Um, and it's cool because now they have all these options. And it's so good when you're a kid to learn. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, because when you're older, it's harder. It's hard, yeah. Because I have like 40s, every language yeah. from Rosetta Stone in my house because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do it this year. And then yeah. I, I know a bit of Spanish. That's it. I've done, I've done Rosetta Stone. Yeah. I've done all those oh, things. Oh, Duolingo. That owl Duolingo, is yeah. so disappointed in me. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, totally. look, owl. I'm a mama too with a lot of jobs. Um, yeah, totally. But anyway, I want to say, um, do you have like a favorite phrase in Japanese that you've learned? You know, there's what I loved about the Japanese language is, you know, it's not just word represents this, but they'll have a word that would represent kind of an experience. Like oh. there's this one word, it's komorebi, which is the way that light, spe specifically I think the sun, travels through sh a tree and makes a shadow on the ground. That's but it's like, that's it's a cool. whole expanded experience with it besides just being a word that you can use to describe something. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. I don't really have a lot of opportunity to talk about Komorebi, but yeah. it's like, that's a really nice word. But it's word. cool that it exists. I love yeah. that. And like yeah. different languages that they're like, you don't have a word for it, but it's this. And I'm like, yeah. that's beautiful. Why didn't we get a word for it? We're such yeah. a confusing language in general. Like, you yeah. could, we couldn't do that as well. So everybody is sad that This Is Us is, is coming to an end. So are you feeling kind of bittersweet about it? Like, it's a great cast, but are you excited about doing new things? I mean, you know, look, I'll be honest. For me, I mean, I don't really work with anybody but Mandy because I'm, you know, deceased in the present day. Oh, that's so, like, true, I that's never true. work with the kids. But and you they have see a whole, everyone, right? I, no, not oh really. I see gosh, them when we do press. Weird. Oh. So the thing is, like, they'll be on set, like, it, wherever we are, and, like, they'll just kind of group together, an inside joke, inside joke, and I'm lost, dead dad. I have no idea what's going I'm on. I'm lost, dead dad? <laughs> but, like, for, for me, for me, it's like, yes, it is, it is a little bittersweet to, like, yeah. leave the group, but for me, it's like, it's the crew. It's always yeah. the crew. I mean, you spend day after day with, yep. you know, the people that you're with all the time. You see them, you walk past them, yeah. you know their kids' names, you know everything about them. Yeah. And then it's just kind of done. Yeah, you know, it, is, move on. it is true, though. Like, I, I still see the crew from, like, 20 years ago when yeah. I won American Idol. I still know the crew, and I run into them at, like, awards and stuff. It's yeah. so crazy because we've yeah. all grown up together for, like, 20 years. And those are the people that you see and you'll still see on different productions. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, that yeah. is that is true. Um, well, someone told me that you have a set photographer who's very passionate about getting the best angle, which, first of all, God bless you, sir. Angles are important. Yes, they um, are. But I want to see that because let's see some photographer, Ron. I feel like he took y'all. He took pictures so, of yeah. So this is and now y'all started taking pictures. So this of him. is Ron Batstor. How it all started was there was a scene where I'm standing <laughs> in front of one of my children's desks and I'm looking at something on the desk, and I have James over here with his camera and I have Coy over here with his camera, and the only place for Ron to get a decent photo was to wedge himself behind the desk and shoot up at me. And I'm like, Ron, you realize you're in my eye line. I'm looking right at this this book, this frame, and he's like, well, I need to get the shot. Oh my! And God. I was like. Okay, man. So then I took some photos of him, and it became a joke, a joke, and a gag. Where whenever Ron would be in just a funny position, I would take yeah. a photo. Then I started an Instagram account. <laughs> then the entire crew started contributing to it. Yeah. So I mean, I would take photos, but then you know somebody else would take a photo, just and, and they would send them to me. Be like, yeah. oh my god, you should have seen where Ron was today. He's on the kitchen counter. Oh my god, you should have seen where Ron was the other day. Like he's outside under a ladder. Under yeah. That's you're Coy, just, that's Ron. In there. Yeah. You're pointing. <laughs> well, that's the, and that's the thing. Like, he always like dresses in black to blend in with yeah. a dark set, a dark stage. Unless yeah. we're filming at a pharmacy, then he's wearing all white because a pharmacy. Oh, oh God. I mean, this, so this one right here, <laughs> Logan Scheuer, It's a big scene. Uh, I think season three, where where Kevin breaks his knee and his yeah. football days are over. And I've got this massive speech where I'm talking to Kevin, telling him like he's gonna find his true calling. And I see Ron just creeping out from behind the... the <laughs> Why you're trying to be like... And I'm so like, Ron, I'm like, you got to leave, man. You are you killing it. my vibe. You really are. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's another thing. I'm never doing that. I'm usually oh. just like singing. But I oh, what? yeah. What? That's creepy. So, so that was reflections. So again, you know, Ron would dress in dark clothes because he never wants to reflect or something in a, in a surface. Oh, my God. So this was, he couldn't reflect in wherever we were. So he just shrouded himself entirely 
I got so many photos that day. That one was, I think, taken by Cricky, our sound, soundboard operator. Everybody, though, that day sent me a photo of, of Ron in a black cape, just. If Ron were really funny, he would have had someone else just sit there and then just walk up with another camera. <laughs> like, like, who's the guy under the chair? I mean, I have photos <laughs> like... of just his camera sitting on tables, like on the Instagram account, too, where it's just like, Ron, where, like, like, literally, where are it's you? It's on auto. He's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, I was yeah. busy. Oh, there we go, and here's your gentleman. Yeah, there's Weiss, get it, Weiss, yes! Weiss has actually been, that's what I'm saying, Weiss has been around me for, God, I don't know, 15 years, I don't know how many years we've been working together, but on tour, I don't even notice Weiss is there. Like, yeah. there have been times, <laughs> things have happened, and I have no idea why this is there, and I'm like, well, um, anyway, um, well, one of your other jobs is narrating auto, audio books. So I, this is my question, like, I have two. One, do you do different voices for them? And then also, do you enjoy audio books? I try and read, but I, I like something tangible. I like reading, I, I like reading too. I particularly like thumbing through an actual page of a book, but yes. I will read on an iPad or Kindle or something just because it's just easier in traveling. Okay. No, I do. Um, but, and but sometimes but, uh, the audio people are boring. Sometimes you just don't like their voice. That's like, what I'm I've saying. Been, I've been on really long drives and I'm like, oh God, I, I didn't have time to read this book. And I'm so excited. And yeah. I'm, I'm here for hours and, and I put boring. it on. I'm like, wait, no. I, yes. Oh God, I'm not going to. And I'd turn it off and then I would never read the book. Then I'd hate the book. Then I'd hate the author and all this. And you're like. Yeah, because yeah. it's a whole thing. No, I the literally, this is the best thing ever. It was like supposed to be this like inspiring, self-motivating book. And he was like. It was like the author wanted to do it, and I was like, you should have had someone else read your really book for you, because it's literally the opposite of inspiring and motivating yeah, <laughs> your voice. Yeah, yeah, totally. So do you do that, though? You do audiobooks? Uh, like, I have. I've done, I've done a bunch yeah. of audiobooks, um, a bunch of podcasts and things like that. Are you like interesting? That. Would I like them? I think so. Well, okay. So there was a series of books I did called The Dangerous Days of Daniel X. This is a couple years ago now. Yeah. But... They're for, you know, young kids. They're for, you know, I kids like about like 8 stuff. to 12, 13 years old. Okay. And it's about this alien hunter who um, is also an alien, and he goes to other worlds and planets in different times and dimensions. So there's all kinds of wild characters in there. I'm and 39 would, and would enjoy that. Go. It's amazing. <laughs> but I would have to track every book that I would do, the characters that I, that I would voice and make them different. And, like, you know, his best friend, who's a girl, sounds a little different than him. And he's got a different voice and his, oh, you know, I like that. crummy you brother. Into... And, oh, yeah, I go super detail. Okay, okay. If yeah. we gave you a line to read, do you think that you could show us the difference in the characters? I hope so. Okay, don't I mean, fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No pressure, my okay. Um, okay, let's put a line in, in prompter. Um, let's do the first as, um, oh, the romantic male lead. <clears throat> Around noon the next day, things took a turn when Jane let her true intentions be known. And one thing became abundantly clear. I had to act now. D that was, oh. I, yeah. Rom romantic lead. I'm, I'm thinking flowy hair, like... Shake yeah. it out. You don't you know. even have to have the way the hair was nice. It was nice. Yes. Um, <laughs> it was nice for later. Um, <laughs> wait, okay, I want you to be a villain. Do it as a villain. Do it as a villain. Okay. <clears throat> What's a villain? Around noon the next day, things took a turn when Jane let her true intentions be known. One thing became abundantly clear. I had to act now. Oh my God, you could be, you should play a serial killer. I you did, I um, did, oh, on Gotham. Did? Oh my God, I missed I'm, that. I saw okay. Heroes, I saw Gilmore, I saw all of them but that one. Damn it, <laughs> I was like the one I didn't. <laughs>